In this lesson, you will learn about the associative property of multiplication and of addition. The associative property simply says you can group numbers and in any order, and it won't matter as long as you are using all addition or all multiplication. So for example, if we start with addition, if we have 3 plus 5 plus 8, we can group the 3 and the 5 together first and do 3 plus 5 is 8, add that to 8, and we get 16. So we, we grouped the 3 and 5 together first. That should be the same as 3 plus 5 plus 8, but in this case, let's group these together the five and the eight. So we're going to go three plus five and eight is 13. Three plus 13 is 16. They are equal. So the way we grouped them didn't matter because it was all addition. It came out to the same answer. It's the same way with multiplication. We have seven times three times five we can group that two different ways. We can group this first, seven times three is 21, and then multiply it by five, and when you do that, you get 105. Or we can group this three and the five together, seven times, three times five is 15, and when you multiply seven times 15, it is 105. So the associative property means that you can group numbers any way you would like as long as you're using all addition or all multiplication. And that's the end of the lesson on the associative property of addition and multiplication.